Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. An in-state battle for control in the desert. You are looking at both teams getting set for the battle for the Territorial Cup. Arizona and Arizona State just about to kick off. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Arizona is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Sun Devils have a lot at stake here, including some possible record-breaking performances. Records and stats are great, but I think to a man, these players say, let's win the game first, and then any accolades we get along with it, that'll be great. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Kelly gets about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Very good tackle in space. That's another first down, Brad, and right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. He's got it with room to run. Brought down at the 34-yard line. That's a nice six-yard gain. I've got to give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play. It's second and four to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Three down, three down. I got two, got two, got two. And two. Three, nine. Three, nine. He's tackled at the 35. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from this safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield, this guy just flies all over the field. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. Huggins gets him about three yards with a completion. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Three down, three down. 
Excellent open field tackle. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Inside give. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. He goes down at the 4. Boy, everything seemed to come together on that play. They had the right call, good blocking, and an excellent run all on one down. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33. 33. He carries the ball for a nice game. That brings up six in the Touchdown, Wildcats. score by the halfback and a nice call by the coach there just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line and he tacks on the extra point a four play 68 yard drive and a touchdown as a result as the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep he's to the 20 He's taken down at the 27. Arizona's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. At the 37. That'll make a second seven. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 41. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. 
Here's the eighth play of the series. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, the Wildcats with a touchdown lead. We welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Dog four. Green. Has all day to throw. Throws it deep. That close to being intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arizona is up by a touchdown. Bring him down at about the 29 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Finds the junior. He's taken down at the 41 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Yeah, the tight end caught the ball, but not before he stepped out of bounds. Good call there by the refs. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 48. Johnson's on the tackle at the 48-yard line. That makes it third and three. He's hit immediately. First down. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. Mike check, 33. 33. Easy, easy, easy. easy. Oh. And he tackles him hard at the 39 yard line. That's a game of the game. That makes it second and two. Makes it out to about the 29. Call the game at 10 yards. First down. Arizona up seven points. Got some open fear. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a D5 on the right. That brings him second and five. Mike Schick, 33. 33. Check back, check back. Got a man, watch out here. And he's taken down at the 13. Here's the 11th play of the drive. There's a very impressive open field tackle. to about the eight-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it 35. Right on left, right on left. Coming to you, coming to you. Check nine, check nine. Easy, easy, easy. Check nine, check nine. He's in trouble. Just throws this one away. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. 
Arizona is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Kelly fields it at the one. And he's tackled at the 29. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and they got him for a loss. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. About two minutes before halftime. It's complete. Rock down. Right around the 40. Catches it, and he's looking for more. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. And he is drilled at the 38-yard line. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. I got two. I got two. And two. Three. Check, check. Dancer, dance. Go. He's going to go for the home run. Arizona State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. Easy, easy. Flair. Flair. Go. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. The draw within a field goal. He makes the PAT. Green has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Anderson fields it at the two. Tackle at the 27-yard line. A oh, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Sanders gains around three yards on the run. The Wildcats taking their first time out of the half. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Arizona holds a field goal lead. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackled for a loss. 
Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. Arizona in front, 10-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Anderson from the five. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Arizona is up a field goal. That's a great tackle at the 45. And he hits him hard at the 44. stop at the 46 yard line Watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. It's a short kick. And for Craig, he's been a force for this defense. I mean, this guy has just really separated himself from everybody else on the football field. It's just going to be a, an individual performance you're going to remember for a long time. Guy has three sacks. You've got to do something to slow him down. I would suggest a chip block. Use a tight end to stay in to help out. Maybe a running back. Anything you can do to try to create any kind of confusion for this defender is something that's going to help you out. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He tackles him for a loss. This is a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. 
I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. him down for a loss on the play you know sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on him third down and they need to get it inside the 44 here's the halfback on the screen and they push him out around the 44 yard line this is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. Scrambling around. It's on the ground. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. And that fumble is going to cost him. Uh, at this stage in the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Arizona has a three-point lead. And he shoved out of bounds at the 47-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings in second and nine. He's tackled at the 33. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That brings up second and nine. to the end zone doesn't get there i mean he has his wide receiver wide open you spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go you got an open man like this just step and deliver and make the throw defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set and he comes in with his dime package throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Under pressure. Throws it out there. It's broken up. Big stop by the defense. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line.
They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. From their own 33-yard line. Third down. They come out on an empty backfield. There's a strike complete. He's down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. The Sun Devils have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. They're ready to begin another drive. Arizona is up by three. Throws it in a hurry. And he's level at the 44-yard line. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. 10-7, Arizona. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Taken down at the 47. Gaining nine yards. First down. The ball, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. Go, 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 go. He's got an opening. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. That's good for gaining 13 yards. First down. defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From the 29-yard line, third down, they'll line up with five wide receivers. Completes it across the middle. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. Arizona holds a field goal lead. He's got it, but he's short of the first down. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Tackle at the 26. Kelly only gets about a yard there on the draw. sack on the play the smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship a quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen but after that play and that hit you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that it's third and long and at this stage of this game they probably have to go to the air Red, two, orange, three, three. get to that quickly and he's taken down at the 21. Gaining two yards. That'll make it fourth and 14. Phillips back deep to return.
He's tackled at the 45-yard line. You look up at the clock, Herbie, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's on the run. Nice run there. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. They'll spread the field with five wide. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. Just under two to go in the game. Gets to about the 41-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. From the 41-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 40. A one-yard gain by the halfback. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. Yeah, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. He fights forward to about the 23. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 23. After a decent run up the gut. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up third and two. And this is the eighth play of the drive. So this one goes final. A hard spot and close game. 10-7, Arizona. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? Arizona comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.